This lesson deals with transformer examples. You can find these notes in the ECE 202 ebook in chapter 15, starting at page 8. Given this circuit, where the mutual inductance is 2 millihenries and the inductance of L1 and L2 is 10 millihenries, and the current I2 is 0, can you solve for V2 of T? All right, let's start with our transformer equations. The voltage V1 and V2 are positive by the dot, and so that's going to give us a plus sign for M. And so the voltage V1 is equal to L1 di1 dt plus M times di2 dt. And the voltage V2 is equal to M di1 dt plus L2 di2 dt. This is shown below. Now since I2 is 0, its derivative is also 0, so this term drops out. And likewise, this term drops out. And we're left with that V1 is equal to L1 di1 dt and V2 is equal to M times di1 dt. All right, let's solve for the derivative. We know the value of V1, we know the value of L1, we can then solve for the derivative and then use that also over here. Okay, so solving then, then di1 dt is equal to V1 divided by L1. V1 is specified as 10 cosine of 100t, and L1 was 10 millihenries. So then V2 is equal to m di1 dt, which would be 2 millihenries, and then this term right over here for di1 dt. The millis cancel, and I'm left with 2 times 10 divided by 10, which is equal to 2, and then cosine 100 t. In our next example, consider interconnecting the wires of a transformer. I'm going to connect this wire over here. I'm going to solve for V sub x in terms of I1. Notice here how the dot orientation is. I'll call this one V1 and V2. And since the plus sign is by this dot and the minus sign is by this dot, our value of m is going to be negative. The current I1 shown here is entering the dot, and the current I2 is leaving the dot, and again, that also tells us that M is going to be negative. What's interesting here, though, is I1 is going to flow in this path, so I1 is related to I2 in that it's the negative of it. Okay, now let's take our equations for the transformer, which is equal to V1 is equal to L1 di1 dt, now minus M di2 dt, but I2 is equal to minus I1, so we can just replace that by minus I1, bring the minus sign over here, and now I've got my first constraint on V1. V2 is equal to minus M di1 dt plus L2 di2 dt, but again, I2 is equal to minus I1, so we'll bring that minus sign out in front. Now I want to solve for V sub x. Now to go back to my schematic, let me scroll back up here. The rise in voltage would equal the drops around the loop. Okay, so, so V sub x is equal to V1 minus V2. Here's my expression for V1. Here's my expression for V2. Let's see what we get now. Di1 dt is common to each term, so let's pull it out. Then I have L1, M, another M, and then a plus L2. So what I've got then is V sub x is equal to the quantity L1 plus 2M plus L2 di1 dt. So we have the voltage across a pair of terminals related to the current that's coming into it. We've got the equation that looks like that of an inductance. So we call this an equivalent or input inductance of our circuit. To repeat this problem by flipping the dot notation on coil 2, what happens is that this changes sign. So effectively I put the two coils in series, so we get the L1 and L2, but we also pick up twice the mutual inductance. If we change the orientation, we can actually then reduce the, the total inductance. These are some examples of transformers and transformer equations.